Hi and welcome to this feature set overview for Swedish Tech HDR. So basically, when louder sounds are played in the HDR system, quieter sounds get ducked. Let's have a closer look at that sequence in HDR activity. The missile has just exploded, and its momentary loudness has caused the current loudness of the system to increase from its resting level at 80 to 116. If we look at the ambience, it has a defined loudness of 80. That is 36 decibels below the current loudness of 116, and that means the ambience gets stuck by 36 decibels. We can hear the effects of HDR by muting the audio of the explosion while maintaining its ducking effect. So that's a good showcase for probably the most important feature of HDR. To make the workflow as easy as possible, we created loudness definitions, which allow you to create groups of sounds and hierarchies that can be used for gain staging. Here I have set the base loudness for ambience to be 80, and wildlife to be 15 dB below that, and if I want to tweak the willow warbler to be plus 3 dB from that, I just enter 3 and that gives me a 3 dB offset resulting in a 68 dB sound. When a sound's momentary loudness goes over the current loudness of the system, it will start pushing it up, but it does so with an attack speed specified in the settings. While the sound's momentary loudness is louder than the current loudness of the system, overshoot is applied up to max overshoot. So for example in this case, the initial attack of the M16 will be increased by 4 decibels. If I increase this you will hear a bit too much overshoot. Doesn't sound very natural to me at least. But if we remove it, it sounds a bit flat. Post gain is a feature that allows you to modify the amplitude of a sound after all calculations are done. For example, if an explosion feels a bit too loud because of the transient added by overshoot, you can use post gain to lower it. This can also be used to boost sounds that require more focus, such as the player weapon. Okay, another great effect of the system is HDR culling. And if I enable this HDR culling debug, we'll see more what it does. The culling threshold offset is at this point 20 decibels below the max momentary loudness. If we run the showcase again, we can see in the top left corner of the screen there is debug text printed on what sounds are stopped from playing. And since these sounds are already inaudible because of the HDR ducking, we can improve performance by not playing these sounds at all. HDR modes can be used for sounds that you only want to be affected by certain parts of the HDR system. For example, this grenade launcher, thump, I don't want it to duck the ambience, because it creates quite a noticeable hole. But I still want it to be lowered by loud explosions nearby. For this, I can use HDR read mode. HDR mode write can be used for sounds that you want to be able to duck other sounds, but you never want it to be ducked. 
For example, you might always want the player weapon to be in focus, but you still want it to be able to duck the ambience. So in this case, I've set the player's weapon to right mode, and you will hear that it can duck the ambience, but it won't get ducked by loud explosions. Okay, and that's it for our current feature set for HDR. If you have any more questions or just want to chat, you can join us in our Discord or you can shoot an email off to hello at swedish.tech. Thanks for watching.